how are you? Hope you're well. Today I thought that we could make a couple of cards from the Stampin' Up Paper Pumpkin Christmas Edition which is called Joy to the World. Uh, Paper Pumpkin is a subscription in the US, um, in UK and Europe. Um, we maybe get these all-inclusive boxes maybe three times a year and um, so it's always for us very exciting when we get um, especially the Christmas edition so um, I thought we could go through it and we'll make a couple of cards um, the the set itself is, a, is an all-inclusive kit um, which means that you you get the um, stamp set and you get um, an ink with it too it's um, £20 plus postage and packing um, only available while stocks last. Um, you can make eight cards out of the kit and you get instructions as to how to do it. So I'll show you what you get in your box and then we'll make a couple of cards. So we'll move the box out the way. So the first thing is the photopolymer stamp set. Um, you, it's a lovely stamp set which obviously you get to keep so you can use over and over again um, we've got Merry Christmas we've got wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter there's a Ponsettia a wreath um, there's some more sayings to the world to you and yours and sending so um, you could put um, two of the sentiments on a block with sending and then joy or three sentiments on the block sending joy to the world so um, that's the stamp set you also get uh, an ink spot which I won't use I'll use um, my own one um, just because I, I like to save these ones if, if I'm going away they're easy for for traveling and um, they're very handy so we'll just put that away just now um, you are getting eight foiled card bases which are lovely um, embossed die cuts which are these so they've got um, embossed designs on them um, you are also getting the envelopes and inside the envelopes like this um, you get these gold cutouts and um, you get cutouts they have them in um, different languages you've got them in French and in German you get these which are the pre-printed die cuts um, you get these stitched um, labels for putting your sentiments on you get little glue dots and you also get some thread so I'll put these out the way the only extra things that um, you would probably need is um, maybe a, a couple of blocks and um, I'm going to use, or you also get um, a pack of dimensionals, you get those as well. Um, I'm going to use my um, stamp and seal and you get your instructions so your instructions show you exactly how to put the card together but if you see a different way to do it then or you want to use them in a different way then then that's great as well but I'll just show you how to do it the way that um, it's done on the instructions so First of all, we'll get our card base and it's already pre-scored. So we'll fold it in half and then we'll just use our bone folder like that. Um, and I think 
think that we will do it this way. So we will then take one of our embossed pieces and we will attach it to here. So I'm just going to use part that it's saying is the thread so mm, we'll just kind of judge it cut a bit off now the way I find easiest for doing the thread is just to put some glue on here like that and then I'll just wrap this round my fingers and then we'll just put it on here, maybe put a bit more there. Like that. And then it's telling us in the instructions that we need a couple of these. So we'll just pop these out. That's the first one. And the second one, and these go in the corner like this. Now, I'm, I'll put these ones flat. So I'll just put some glue on the back. these gold banners and we'll just put some glue on it and that goes across we then these long ones and the sentiment that it's suggesting for this one is the Merry Christmas. I'll just get the Merry Christmas out. Put on a block. Get my ink pad. Again, this is a Just Jade ink pad that we're using. Okay, and I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. finished card. So that's the first one and we will do another and we'll do the wreath. So 
So we will take our card. Fold it in half. Use our bone folder. And we will pop out the wreath. And you can actually you can stamp the wreath. So I'm just going to get my mat like this, and we'll get the wreath. Now, there's the centre hole in the wreath matches the centre hole in the die cut. So you match it up. So we'll just ink it up and then we'll see if we can get it straight. Not really one of my 40s, but okay, we'll see. That looks about... Mm. So we'll go press down. Like that. And we'll take another one of the embossed and we'll just put some glue on this. on and I think that we will lift it up a bit with a couple of dimensionals Just going to use a little bit of my liquid glue and just dot it. And we'll just pop that on top. And then we will take to the world put that on the block. We'll put one of these little skinnier. up with the same 
just jade. And will we put it on dimensionals or will we just put it flat? Just put it on two. Like that. And that's another one of your cards done. I was just thinking with the first one this one what you could maybe do is if you have a wink of Stella this gives a slight shimmer and what you could do is um, just put some on the flowers I don't know if you can see it's just glistening a little bit You, to to work a wing of Stella, you just you push it just to make it come down to the nib. Hold it on the other one. Like that. And I think I'll maybe use some of my basic jewels, the rhinestones. And we'll maybe just put one there, one there. I'm, I think that's probably enough. We could put maybe put one in the middle. Mm, no. No, I think we'll just leave it like that. So £20 plus postage for eight cards with all these sentiments um, that you can use again. If you feel that that is something that you would like to purchase, um, they are available at the moment in my online shop or send me a message. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much. Bye.